Well, hello there, and welcome to Senpai Hobby. Yes, we've got the branding all down. We've got some merch on the way. Uh, I don't know that there's a link down below, but yeah, uh, I started actually uh, 
making some merch and uh we'll see how that ends up going i actually have a uh order on the way to me of my own merch so i can wear it because what's the point in having your own t-shirts and stuff if you can't wear it um i'm gonna get this started right it's pre-friday we're gonna um this one's for you this is the freebie get this out of the way because i kind of need it right now it's been one of those weeks Oh. <laughs> oh, how the hell is everybody doing? Ah. Oh. Yes, I notice you, Jim. I notice you. Uh, so, uh I hope everybody's doing well. It's Thursday. Um we didn't do a gaming stream uh on Tuesday. Uh what did we have happen? I almost wasn't able to stream or upload any videos at all for two weeks because I got a copyright strike on 15 seconds in at the two hour and I want to say four minute mark on Friday stream. Yes, I got a copyright strike from some Chinese company uh, claiming the music. Well, I am smart enough that I have a copy of the, the contract uh, for the music that I end up using. So I sent that to YouTube and I, I was actually expecting them to take forever on there. And uh, it actually took them until I want to say, let's see, that happened on Friday. I want to say Monday, Tuesday, uh, they found in my favor and released uh, released the funds that was, you know, the little bit of funds that that video made and uh, released that video back to me. Yeah. So um, fuck you, China company. <clears throat> I've actually had a lot of those over the over the years of um, the royalty free music that you can end up using in videos and stuff and other companies will uh, file claims that it's theirs and you know uh, sites that are not fully professional uh, and when I say professional they haven't gone through they don't have a legitimate like basically contract uh, that this is fair use, this is free, da 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 da. They've created this, they've registered it, they've whitelisted it with all the other companies. Basically, those just people that have made regular music uh, on a keyboard, da da da, uploaded it. And uh, so, yeah, definitely, if you're going to be a video producer or streamer and you're going to use music, um, make sure and stick with a company that has done all of that work for you. You have a contract. Um, it's usually on a PDF format. You download it, you save it into a folder. Um, and then when they, because you can uh, file a grievance or dispute it on YouTube, there's a little page, you know, you dispute it. And then um, there's a thing that you can upload your thing. And I have mine on the Google Drive and I dropped the, the link to that into the thing. Said this, I have full rights to use this music, blah, blah, blah. This is the producer of the music and here is the contract. And uh, yeah, so they found in my favor. So uh, yeah, but I was kind of surprised. Usually I'll get a copyright D, like a copyright ding. So they'll just claim the funds, but this was an actual copyright strike um, for, for 14 seconds, 14 seconds. That's crazy. And what's even crazier is it had the what the music was listed and who the producer was and everything, but it was a company based out of China. Um, and yeah, so after I produced after I produced those documents and what the song was and who the producer was, they found in my favor. Um, okay, so I am uh, going to go through chat. We have Chris Jones coming in with the gold star saying, "Hola, Dave doesn't paint." LOL. Uh, let's see here. And we have Dead to Death with us up. We have Corey Johnson. Oh, Dead to Death gets the silver star. Corey Johnson gets the bronze star saying hello there. Uh, let's see. We have Jim coming in with the plastic star saying sup, sup, sup. Uh, and Theron12 uh, saying he has a PG Zaku that I can have. Uh, I will not take it for free, but I will definitely send you money for shipping on that. Uh, I'm looking for two actually, um, but at least I need at least one and it's for... I can't get to it. It's for the um, the PG Zaku uh, SH Studios kit that I have, um, because it takes more parts than was went to the goof, and I already have the parts cut and everything for the goof. Um, so yeah. 
So I'm looking for, for that. Um, speaking of that, I have paint on the way. So you guys may remember uh, SMS was kind enough and I'm going to do a full video, but I'm waiting until next week to do the video. They were kind enough. They sent me uh, six models of their paint all the way from Australia. And I fell in love with a couple of the colors. <clears throat> so I ended up ordering about 20 more bottles uh, and they will be here at next week. Uh, I ended up ordering six more bottles of this pearl raspberry red because it looks sexy as hell sprayed on on something. Um, so yeah. This is going to be primarily for the uh, Sosby, the 160 Sosby. But I ordered a whole bunch of different colors to try. Um, so basically, the Zaku and the Sosby are going to kind of be sponsored, even though I spent about $200 on paint um, by SMS. Uh, and they're going to be almost fully painted by SMS paint. So I am excited to do that. So I haven't been ignoring them on that. Um, though I can't find what system I ended up was messaging them on because I can't find the message. Um, Corey Johnson says, I uh, hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, it's been a stressful week, but it is what it is. I mean, look at my hair. Like, it's it doesn't even want to cooperate. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, Theron says, it doesn't have any screws. That's okay. I'm kind of confused because there were screws in with the Zaku kit. And they look like the screws that are for the PG. So I don't I don't know. I don't know if they get used, but that's fine. I can find, I have plenty of other screws. I can scavenge screws from other kits um, or the springs. That's fine. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Corey Johnson, that's sweet. Uh, Jim and Boo, notice me, professor. Um, I notice you. I notice you, you sexy bitch. Uh, well, glad you didn't get uh, the strike. Now, well, glad you didn't get the strike. Uh, okay. Uh, well, this is interesting. Bandai is planning to start releasing, uh, or Dead to Death says, uh, this is interesting. Bandai is planning to start releasing kits using, uh, let me see, 50% limestone. What? Um, Theron, I may have to, I just have to go through my stuff. Okay. I mean, if you have to, I'll buy, I'll buy both of them. I mostly just need the frames. Like, I don't care what the conditions are as long as they're not glued. Uh, I want one of those for my PG Zaku. Uh, Legato Star One. Good evening, everyone. Just probably deleted my Facebook account. Uh, don't have to deal with that headache anymore. From now on, I'll be using Discord. Good for you. Good for you. Like, Discord, I mean, uh, Facebook, it, it can be a cancer. Like, seriously, it can be a cancer. Um, Let's see here, Corey Johnson, uh, do you spurl, uh, spray pearl over a silver? Um, generally, no, like, so uh, for like this pearl, because it's red, um, you can do it over a black, you can do it over a silver, you can, you'll get different tones, but this is a, this is an actual red with a pearl in it. Um, but I would end up spraying this over, um, over a gray. You could do it over a black, but it's going to give you a really deep red. Um, depending on what your undercoat is, is going to be how bright this color and how many layers that you end up having to put on there. If you did it over white, it'd be super bright. Um, I would, I probably wouldn't end up doing that. Um, though it would be interesting to do a piece, depending on the piece, like the outer edges in a dark gray, maybe even a black. And then lighter, lighter, lighter into uh, almost white at the very top of the piece if it was domed, because then you would get that dark to a bright shine uh, all the way up. And I'm going to be I'm going to be showing you guys uh, some different techniques and stuff in doing that. I am going to be painting, especially since I have a whole bunch of paint coming. Uh, I also I also have been working on a video of best nippers for 2021, uh, combining the 2019, 2020, and uh, now 2021 nippers. So we actually have display, we have gut, and this is going to be both for plastic and for resin. Um, so I have Madworks, I have Vulcans, I have Vulcans for resin and Vulcans for plastic. Uh, we have the display nippers, we have the Madworks nippers. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, I did not even know about this. I'm kind of concerned and I'm running an experiment right now. 
This little guy. This little guy. Uh, I may break him out during the video tonight. This is the display paint mixer. I'm kind of curious. Um, I'm not real keen on the Vortex ones that you put the bottle on and blah, 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 blah. Um, mostly because the sound. So this works in the same way that a lab mixer works. Uh, so you have the bar in the bottom of your container and it creates a vortex in the liquid itself. I'm curious because this has tin bars in here. The bars aren't stainless steel because magnets really suck to them, but they're not magnetic either. Um, my curiosity is corrosion. Do you have to worry about corrosion in like acrylics? Like will water cause them to rust? We're going to test this. I did find some on Amazon. I haven't ordered them that have like a plastic coating on them, which is fine. But all the ones that I can find are bigger. They're like uh, an inch or more bigger. They're made for bigger containers, uh, like for Bunsen burners and stuff. So we're going to end up doing a video, testing that out, reviewing that. <clears throat> I have the display angle sander uh, coming. Basically, I have a bunch of display coming. Uh, I ordered the rest of the... Um, the rest of the pieces that go in here that I'm missing to fill in the gaps all the way up to my one millimeter size because I was playing around with the Sosby the other night going, I really need this size. I didn't think I needed this size, but I really need this size. So I ended up ordering uh, from new type uh, all the different sizes that are, are there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um... I got a do, 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 uh, do you spray pearl over silver? Zaku 2 use, only uses screws for the joints. You can just glue the frame and, and it will still pose. Yeah, once you find a, like, I don't like the standing, like, hero pose that everybody does, uh, which is the same with this, <clears throat> with this either kit. Uh, all the poses that I've seen that anybody's ended up doing, it's always in that stand up. No, you, you got to make this dynamic. It needs to be dynamic. Um, cut down on plastic more. How well does limestone sand? Well, if it's normal limestone, it should sand pretty easy. The other night I watched Gundam Hathaway's uh, Flash movie uh, and I was really impressed. Uh, they managed to take a mediocre light novel series. Okay, that's cool. Uh, is SMS paint similar to splash paint? I haven't messed with splash paint, but these are lacquers. Like these are pre thin. That's why I had to order so many. If <clears throat> I don't know why I'm so flimmy today. Um, if these weren't pre-thinned already, uh, I probably could have gotten away with like two, maybe three bottles. But since these are pre-thinned already, uh, like they, these are ready to go into an airbrush and spray. You don't have to thin these anymore. Um, so that's why I ordered a bunch, like a bunch. <clears throat> uh, make sure you tickle the senpai's balls by taking... Jim's just trying to get, get on the pin page and we're going to pin that message jim says make sure and tickle senpai's balls by clicking the like button yes thank you very much if you click the like button i do appreciate that and i pin that to the top <clears throat> so thank you thank you very much for that um yeah so tonight we're going to be taking a look at now i did put i changed the title uh world premiere because this is kind of the world premiere there are a couple of chinese uh pages or youtube uh, channels that did an unboxing of this, but it's in Chinese. So this is a world premiere of uh, English uh, unboxing and first look, and we'll do a part separation. I do have a brand new Barbatos as well. <clears throat> Splash is already thin too. Nice. I almost ended up ordering the Studio G base set. Um, they're 60 milliliters pre-thin. And I almost ordered them only on the premise to try because they're claiming that you don't have to use primer with these. So uh, if you guys put an X1 in the, in the chat that you want me to try the Studio G that claims that they don't need primer to use on kits, um, I will pick up a set. I think it's $79. I'll pick up a set from um, uh, New Type and we'll try that out. We'll see if that ends up working because you know me, I will put that to the test. I will spray it on resin and I will spray it on plastic and we will compare the difference between putting it over primer and not putting it on primer. 
uh let's see corey johnson yeah studio g is good i have two sets the original g paint haven't used the new set uh and dead death says fuck that uh it doesn't sound too good to me yeah i i don't understand they say it's specially formulated i don't know how you specially formulate it um or i mean technically you're just spraying you're you're using the basis that the lacquer thinner is going to adhere the lacquer paint to the plastic but i've seen what happens when you don't use a primer which is specially formulated to one cover surface details if there are any blemishes or anything kind of fill them in make the surface nice and smooth and then primer is supposed to be specially made to bite to whatever surface it is that's why they make different ones they they do make resin primer they make plastic primer they even make galvanized primer for galvanized steel for cars and it's because it's formulated to bite to whatever the surface is and this is why i also say i used to be a big proponent and i i like i learned the hard way i screwed up i thought if i made the surface fucking as smooth as a baby's ass smoother smoother um and then primed over it that it would be flawless and the problem is is there's no texture for that primer to bite to and that primer will lift so if you want to go through and you want to sand your piece and make it butt smooth just and then just go back over it with a little bit rougher to give that surface some texture because otherwise there's nothing for that paint to stick to or to bite to uh, I shouldn't say stick to. I like using the the, the term bite to it because that's what it it's supposed to do. Is it's supposed to get in there? Um, let's see. Do it. Anything to see you paint, senpai. Ah, uh, well, that being the case, maybe I'll just order some tonight. Um, sounds like a good way to fuck up uh, the wait, huh? Sounds like a good way to freak fuck up the frame um primer also acts as a barrier so the thinner doesn't destroy the plat you're yeah you're right on that because lacquers uh just like if you um do too much of the enamel for um for panel lining it can make the kit brittle so that's why they say at least paint it and then do a top coat over it um i have a tendency i don't really do that but i don't slather in um the the enamel into doing the panel lines on just my snapped up kits but yeah the enamel thinner will make plastic brittle too curious what limex uh limex is, uh, see and i thought that i was misreading what you're putting uh curious what limex is going to require to do for seam lime removal my issue with that is is it the it being brittle <coughs> i just foresee that being brittle like i don't know um okay so um and i am trying to get some videos out for you guys i am going to uh have a couple of videos like i said coming up of some display products doing some videos putting those up uh and you know my regular lives i do have a couple of projects that are in the background um one is a collaboration between uh leona's workshop and i but uh i am not releasing any info to you guys or on my channel per her request of what i'm working on or how i'm doing it um because then she's going to do her part and then she's going to take my video of the snippets and so forth of my process and building and then hers of painting She's going to make a video and then we're going to put, uh, she's going to put it up for sale, either for charity um, or just for auction itself. <clears throat> uh, I had a piece on my Galgo that broke from panel liner. Yeah, some people uh, have, have had issues and if you go super heavy with it, um, I just have a tendency, like I'm doing it just for that slight aesthetic and it's usually for videos. Um, so that's about it on that. I uh, want to see that paint mixer. Sounds interesting. Also sounds like a good way to fuck up everybody's glass files that want that has picked it up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. You're going to make me order one, John, just so I can.
so I can mess some shit up. Um, so this video is brought to you by New Type. New Type. Get whatever at New Type. I, I do have to laugh at them though because I did send them a message and I went, hey, <clears throat> can you stop being so fucking efficient? Like, I literally ordered an hour ago and I already have the tracking number. And they, they replied to me going, no, just enjoy our services. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> so they have a sense of humor. <clears throat> Their prices are a little bit higher. Um, and of course, they are not a sponsor of the channel. Their prices are higher on, on a bunch of stuff. But since I live in California, I have to give them credit. Like, they have same-day turnaround. If you order something by, like, 12 o'clock Pacific time, they're going to get it out that day. Um, I'm kind of curious because some of my orders, they ship by FedEx Home, which I literally get the next day. Um, and then some of their orders, they ship out by post service. And I get that in a couple days. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of curious about that. But yeah, uh, I have a brand new... Uh, I do have one of these around, but I've already messed around with putting wiring and stuff in here and have it in a perma pose. Um, so I do have this. We may play around with this tonight. I am not, I repeat, not making dinner for the wife tonight. She is picking up her own dinner. So I will not be taking a break. Um, and then we have this. Now, this was an accident. <sighs> story time with Senpai. Yes, it's story time with Senpai. So, uh, Djibouti messaged me a while ago going, oh, this is... Now, keep in mind... <laughs> accident, my ass. Uh, keep in mind... No, this was actually a legitimate accident. Keep in mind, um, he has a hard-on for Barbatos. And I'm pretty sure this is going to kick... So let me kick that before it kicks. Um, so he has a hard on for Barbatos and he's repainted the same one, like, I don't know, four times. And I was actually picking up, what was I picking up? I think I was picking up, oh, I was ordering the nippers. I ordered the nippers from them because they actually had, uh, they had everything that I wanted in stock, <clears throat> except for the Vulcans. And they had an advertisement on the fr front page of this. I forgot that this is also over on GK Model, uh, and I believe it's in stock. Now, GK Model has the, uh, has this same kit, and it's, uh, if you have no discount or anything, I believe it's $148 shipped regular, add the DHL, that makes it $158, and then I think over on New Type, it's $20, $30 more. Um, I went ahead and paid that because I forgot that they had that. Uh, that's where the accident came in. But I was like, you know what? That looks pretty cool. I was going to do this for him. Um, I was going to do a build and everything. But then I realized that he and Leon were having a build off together on the same kit. So I went, you know what? I will build my own. Um, I want to change around some colors. Uh on here so that's what we're going to end up doing now i i will be honest i have as soon as i got this i did kind of crack it open i did kind of flip through it um i'm kind of disappointed about how the book is in here i will show you that later um but yeah i have to say the packaging is really nice though i was also before i get into this kind of disappointed because there are other kits I saw someone else do an unboxing of what they have a third kit that they ended up doing. And if you guys remember, I did the Zaku Gunner, which was by them. And I was highly, highly impressed by the detail and the crispness and how crisp the freaking pieces were. There was like zero cleanup that needed to be done. And then their third kit was in the orange resin. This is in the tan resin. Um, that's all I know. I haven't really looked at the pieces though. So we're going to get into this here in just a second. Uh, yes, there's no discount because it is a branded kit. That's right. I forgot about that. So it's it's like $148, $158 if you do DHL shipping. So it is cheaper than getting that new type. Um, but new type does still have these. Um, Legato Starwind, do you think Bandai will make a Master Grade uh, XI uh, Gundam and Master Grade Penelope? 
I think the odds of us getting a Master Grade Penelope are almost the same as us getting a Master Grade Kasachia because the Penelope is big uh, and it's super detailed. Um, maybe, but I do not see that there is more demand for a t Penelope myself than there is for a Kasachia. I would say there is probably a hundred times more demand for a Master Grade Kasachia than there is for a Penelope. Yes, and we've been waiting at least 10 years for them to do uh, and anything, a real grade Kasatria, like anything Kasatria. Yeah, I've seen people post p uh, pictures of the high grade uh, and it does look big. All right, so let's shoot over to the overhead. Um, let's turn on this light so we get a little glow. There we go. All right, so the packaging. Uh, I actually think I like this packaging better than I did on the um, on the other one. The Zaku Gunner. Uh, which, by the way, let me... Um, I haven't even done this. Um, hello, people in the waiting room. Um, how is everybody doing? What? What? A margarita truck? What? I'm telling you, it's a real thing. We have them. That's what I heard. And my coworker was like, oh, I want to try and set one up. And she's already checking into like why it takes to do a, a mobile liquor license. I think it's the same as like a normal TABC, but you also have to have um, like a normal driver's license and a license, I guess, to drive a like a food truck. Now, see, I was thinking, okay, so for for those of you guys uh, that uh, are, are not in on this conversation, so I ended up finding a meme last night of, you know what would be great? Is if there was a adult, basically, ice cream truck that served margaritas, you know, that just rolled through neighborhoods with, the, you know, some kind of uh, Mexican music playing, like ice cream truck, and it just stopped, and people were standing out on the corner like little kids with their money in their hand going, I want one, I want one. And then I added to it, hey, it could be a half taco truck. So this is what I was talking to with uh, with my uh, coworker today is, you know, it doesn't take that much space to mix drinks. You could technically have like serve food, but keep the menu basic. Uh, and if like here, it, we'd end up running it in a higher end area. So you'd have the like cupcakes with the really sweet frosting, maybe some wine or the margaritas and then um, maybe tacos and then just basically something light, fast. You could serve both, but keep the menu like to five items. Like. I'm telling you, it would work. Yeah, it would work. <laughs> uh, Legato Starwind says, hentai busty milfs, that is all. <laughs> and hey, John, how are you? Doing good. Good, good. Awesome. Um, okay, so the packaging, uh, I really like. Uh, if I zoom in, you guys can actually see, like, I like the lettering that they did on here, like the outline. Like, I like what they did on this. Like, I like the packaging, and I am a sucker for good packaging. You got shitty packaging, keep it to yourself. Uh, backside, you get a card, QR code, uh, either explore our future world. <clears throat> um, and we'll slide this out. Um, let's see here. Rolo says, just load the urban suppression vehicle water cannon with margarita. Oh, yeah. You'd have soccer moms everywhere just standing out on the street with their mouths open. Um, let's see here. Uh, Joey Rivera, can you please explain the difference between a resin conversion kit versus a dress up? So, uh, conversion kits and dress-up kits are pretty much the same. Like, it's just how they end up wording them. Um, They're not the same, though, Dave. <laughs> They're literally not the same. <sighs> okay. Uh, so, what is what is your explanation? Because I've always ended up knowing... Conver conversion transforms into a different mobile suit, hence the word conversion. Okay, I got you, I got you. Dress-up is basically making your the base the the same mobile suit that you use as a base kit making it look 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 much nicer 
See, and we learn something every day. Because I'm lazy. Um, so that is my fault because I've actually bought some that were like a such and such dress up kit, but it they called it a dress up kit and it, it made it into something else. So that is my that is my bad. So John is right. Yeah, some a lot of companies will just call everything a dress up, a conversion. But a lot of times I mean usually it's conversions. I mean conversions are the most popular because it's usually getting like unique designs you don't have in kits right now. Especially at like one hundred scale. Yeah. But there's also a lot of like dress ups, for example, Anchorette stuff, Anchorette Infant Dimensions, those are all dress up kits. Whether it's the um, Sazabi, the new, the high new, stuff like that. Providence. See, and I think my fault is, is I kind of, they are dress up kits, but I still consider them conversions because you're just like, you're changing everything. You're basic, you're, you're keeping it the same kit, but you're just changing literally everything on the kit. So yeah, but the, the you are changing everything, but you're not changing what mobile suit it is, right? right. right. You're gotcha. not trying to get a different design. You're not trying to get a different mobile suit design, right? You're ju you're just making it, you're trying to make it the base mobile suit design nicer, right? Um, so Joey and says it's, it's sort of it's sort of like being a little like anal on the details, but right. it is a pretty big detail difference. Yeah, no, you're so. and, and you're right. You're right. So Joey says so. Zaku and the goof is a conversion. Yes. Yep. There's a lot of conversion kit that uses Zaka 2.0 or Master Grade as a base, for example. And and my pea brain has always thought, okay, so dress up kits. Uh thank you. Thank you for this uh super sticker, Joey. You are freaking awesome. Um so I and I've always considered the like the metal parts and so forth as that being an actual dress up thing. So Thank you, Joey, for the four ninety nine through the super chat, the super sticker. That is freaking. I wouldn't awesome. say that though, because the, the, the those parts are they're ge they're generic is a thing. It's, it's really, they're not yeah. made for a specific kit to spruce them up. They're just actually a little detail. It's sort of like you know the pipes, right? They're yeah. not meant for like a specific kit. They're just sort of generic parts to swap out to just spruce it up. Right. And you're not trying to spruce up the whole kit. You're sprucing up like two parts, right? So. You are correct. Uh, okay, so we have uh, we have this little card. I believe this has the decals. Let's see if these are just generic. I have an itchy feeling that these are just generic, but I do like the fact that they stuck a hard cardboard in here. Uh, and are these the regular? Oh, there it is. Maple leaves. What the hell? So no, these are not generic. They are made for the kit. Um, let's switch over to view number three. Uh, turn that down. So it does come with uh, some water slides. The water slides look pretty nice. I don't see much borders at all. But I'm not sure if it's look to the lighting. Uh, so looking at the reflection, like especially on the circle ones, there is zero border. That's real. That's really good because circle ones are usually the most problematic of the yeah these, decals. These look super clean. So good job on whoever did their decals. Let's stick this back in here. The hell is it there? Is that it? Fuck. Wrong one. How's your day going, Lexi? My day's fine. Good. Just getting ready for bed. A little early for that. Well, for you, maybe. Sure, it's what, like nine, almost ten there? Yeah. I go to bed so early when you can see the sunrise. <laughs> You're not wrong. And I will gladly watch the sunrise with you tomorrow. Oh, I'm stuck in my sunset. I legit don't think you can stay up that late. <laughs> I have. I mean, it's not super fun. I have, uh, I, in fact, I've done it recently within the last couple of months. I've done it more than once. 
stayed up until the sun rose right over that. So, yeah, so technically I'm supposed to work on, well, I'm not supposed to. They bribe some of us to come in and catch up on some paperwork and stuff on Saturday, like maximum of three hours. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. And then I was like, yeah, okay, so that's be Friday night and the Saturday morning, depending on how much I drink tomorrow night. I may just put freaking Heidi to bed and go in at fucking 1 a.m. when no one's there. It's peaceful and quiet. Do a whole bunch of shit. And, go in and li well, why not? And then leave before anybody gets there. Um, okay, so here's the instruction booklet. Uh, I am going to do a actual up close video, uh, legit video, so you guys will be able to see this in another video. Uh, so we're just going to end up going through product contains a total of 134 pieces plus hair one or two parts i don't understand what that means but okay um i wonder if they mean that the hair is in one or two parts or if they're saying there could be one or two extra parts but anyway uh yeah so 134 pieces uh, you get a gamble replacement parts right Dave. Let's see here. So, and taking a look here, the instructions, you are going to need the Google Translate um, just to translate all of this because none of it is in English. Uh, it looks like it has some instructions like some pieces get shaved down over here. Da -da -da -da. Um, some basic instruction, how pieces go together. Um, basic, how uh, X1, X2, X3. This is kind of interesting over here. Like the, they're showing you the internal piece of how it ends up going. But it's in like 3D. The instructions are actually kind of different from what I'm from what I'm used to. Um, let's see here. So we've got these. You've got what are these? What's this color? Neo color, extra metal. I have not seen those. So they have they have Mr. Colors up at the top. And I can't read what those are, but Neo Color. I'm gonna have to look that up, see what brand that is. Uh, champagne gold, burnt iron, dull steel. Here's a color list over here. An actual breakdown of your colors, I think. is. So this is probably like one part X1 to two parts X2, something like that is usually how it ends up turning out. Um, for your custom colors. Um, I'm assuming that this is your color layout. The pictures look good. And, and it's like I said in the beginning, uh, like, and I think I even said this to John, uh, it's too for as extravagant as they kind of made this. It's too plain just being in that static pose in this static pose. Like it should be in a dynamic pose. I always think kids should be in a dynamic pose anyway, but especially if you're going to make one like dynasty version and you're just going to have it like just standing Superman pose, hero pose. No, it could have weight issues. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, that's where we find a pose and, and I'm that person that I find a pose and I glue the joints because I don't care. I'm, I'm also the person that like, once I find a pose that I like, I never, it never leaves that pose. So that's why I don't care about gluing joints. Uh, the difference is, um, pretty big differences in, in the details between the master grade and that. Shoulders look cool. These things look cool. Like I like all of this. The weapons are probably the best part about the whole thing. Mm hmm And I'm curious because I haven't looked and and I thought these I thought these pieces were painted, but it looks like it's clear resin or colored resin. So okay. it looks like they tinted the clear resin. 
for the, the blade. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. So we'll get into that here in just a second. Um, my only complaint is that the box is not big enough for the instruction booklet. Um, so the instruction booklet was all bent. Not that big of a deal, but... That's always annoying. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 mobile, da, da, da. Uh, Lando says Ma, uh, Ma Chow from the Three Kingdoms story. Uh, it's their own design, a conversion because you're making it into something different. Master Grade Leo also doesn't exist. Uh, and Lando says, I think it's UV resin. Well, we'll you find out here in a second. So this baggie was, was separate um, from the black baggie. And this is why they have listed as one to two pieces for the hair uh, i think they probably intended it to be one piece is the way that it looked and maybe they broke it into two uh for shipping purposes um but I, we will be cutting these out and taking a look at, at these and then there's this bag that is a black bubbly That bubbly out of here. Um, and it is clear. Well, let's see if it is UV reactive. No, it's just clear resin. So you get two of these in the black bubbly. Um, hair pieces. And I'm going to get these all out. But so far looking at it, everything is really like crisp clean but so was the original um either kit that i had like everything the little panel lines and the panel lines were thin on the other one were all nice and crisp so we're going to go through and we're going to part count this right now i'm glad you're doing that dave I'm instead like, of doing it yeah half a year later yeah like leon's doing on his on his kit now that He's actually finally broken it open and washing the parts. He's finally doing a part count on his uh, Exia Dark Matter. You're muted. No, I'm not. Dude. Oh no, he just purposely was not talking. Oh, okay. Yeah. They want him to talk shit, you know, let him talk shit. They can talk shit. Okay. I got it done. Mm -hmm. Already part counted. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I know. have all the parts plus two extra ones. So I don't need to hear none of your nonsense, Dave. Okay. What you're spouting right now is what I consider fake news. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, Leon, did they teach you how to count properly though? You didn't, you didn't miscount. Oh, the funniest was I was on the phone when, with him when he was trying to, to sort parts and that, yeah. was, that was the funniest. They want to like put two different color resins into one thing. And they want to say it's tan when it's actually white and you can't see any fucking detail on the white ass shit. So you're like, is this even the right piece? I don't even know. You know, bastards. Welcome to, welcome to resin. All right, so feeling it on this, I can feel a little bit of a lip, uh, the edge of the pieces right here I can but I mean that's going to get sanded down so easy peasy on that uh, the pieces look like they've probably already been pre-washed any company worth its weight should be pre-washing their pieces before they package they them should up. not be grinding down nubs though no or they gates. should not um so the, was it Leona that said she liked that company's doing that no, no, she got pissed at them about um, okay about E two zero that they would just obliterate detail and shape. So then you'd have to go through and redo all of it. Um, okay, so go there. Jennifer Stone was like really happy about companies doing that. I was, I was like, "You stupid." That's just <laughs> yeah, that's just laziness. If, if you if you expect a company to do that. <clears throat> it's just an extra cost for something they're not going to do properly as they give you more work that you pay more money for right uh, 
What do you do with the extra resin pieces, Dave? You just keep them? Put them somewhere? Yeah, I just put them somewhere. Put them, have a little bin of extra resin pieces, things like that. Like, just like plastic kits. Whenever you have extra parts, you just save them for later and you cannibalize it for something else. No, I've never cannibalized them. I just have two giant boxes of fucking full of plastic parts, John, okay? Well, it's because you don't build shit, Leon. <laughs> <laughs> That's from when I did build shit. You mean just left out of I, I meant, I meant, I meant like actually building shit, not just snap fitting shit. <laughs> oh. You mean like, uh, custom work? Yes. Okay. Well, listen, Dom, okay? I have no experience with the custom work. Okay? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I couldn't even do a parts count right, okay? I'm, oh. I mean, a lot of people... I mean, you got a lot of builders here that like to go into custom work when they can't even get rid of a nub. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I got rid of nubs. I did it. I figured out my strategy on the nub removal. Working pretty well, okay? You got those people entering GBWC and wondering why they got disqualified for very poor presentation and prep work? That's because your kit looked like a fucking porcupine. <laughs> Sorry. Little outburst there. <laughs> I'm having my, uh, roommate Wesley build a, an HG and I taught him how to remove the nubs that's what he didn't do color me shots <laughs> nah, he didn't remove any of the nubs did you teach him to, did you have him remove him fucking scissors or something too no I, I gave him the glass file and you know taught him about how to use the glass file and how to cut you, you, didn't you didn't give him a pair of scissors and, and nail clippers cut to cut his in. parts? Nah, I, I let him use my, uh, my big nippers, and then for the big cuts, you know, the thick nippers. And you didn't give him the... god hands so he can twist it when he makes the cut? I do have my god hands, but I use my god hands. <laughs> yeah, so the details look really good on... Dave, do you give up on the Monster Hunter girl? <laughs> uh, wait, which Monster Hunter girl? She's she's in the box. Why, is Jim saying something? No, she's in the box. The only reason I really started her was because Jim's like, you need to do that. I ordered it, and I need to see how not to screw up. Um, so I, don't know, I, I don't know why he's in a rush. He's not going to touch it for, like, there two decades, just like you, with painting kits. This is true. <laughs> um... So I just, I put her in the box because, yeah, I'm not gonna, she's a nice kit and, and everything. It's just not, uh, not my thing right now. Finally finished, pre finally finished some of that stupid white glint. That's one less thing to worry about for me. Oh, nice. It's like 80% prep. <laughs> not to ignore its existence for a year. <laughs> Probably not. I'll probably paint the head. I'll probably paint the head and chest again, and then forget about it like the last one. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to come over to this cam, and then we're going to zoom in. Then we're going to brighten this up. See if I get this to focus, but not too close. Come on. Are you going to focus? I want you to focus right there. Enhance. Enhance. Okay, I'm trying. So I don't know if this will show, I mean, it kind of shows. So this is uh, one of the hilts on the swords and that detail is crazy. That is very nice. Like it's super clean. I, I'm highly, highly impressed with that. But I want to show you guys that. So. That's how it is with new toys, you gotta show it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not your toys, Lexi. You, you're not supposed to take what? those out in public and show them off. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'll have you know, my Rubik's Cube is just fine. Okay, Wait. I have the yellow side complete. Oh, I do have a question for you, though. 
Hmm. If you were to do lines of cocaine and a mosquito bit you, would they be drunk? Are we still on this? So, I mean, if drugs were to affect a bug, I would think so. Um, but I do not know. I also don't know if, I don't know if alcohol would affect bugs in the same way. Like, if you got really freaking drunk and then they suck your, if mosquitoes suck your blood, if they actually, like, are basically drunk. So, from what I understood, the amount of alcohol you would have to consume in order to get a mosquito drunk would kill you yourself. Well, yeah, because it's in the blood, it's in the bloodstream, so. You yeah. would be pure poison toxic by that. Yeah. You should not but be being bitten okay by mosquitoes. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, what uh, what caused this question? Because I know you asked you asked me this earlier too. I was like, uh... I don't remember. I mean, I think I got bit by a mosquito. Probably random shower. Uh, fall. Something on the internet, yeah. and it spiraled into this. Okay, and this is what happens. She has these weird random questions sometimes, and it just happens. Just accept it <laughs> and move on with your life. He's hey, look, grumpy. Dave. And he's a grumpy old man today. I can understand you, Lexi, over the sound of how great I am, so. Uh, let's see look, here. Mr. Fredrickson, you'll need to get your tennis balls off of your wheelchair and keep moving. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Lando Gravely, I'm tempted to buy this now. Thanks, Dave. I'm going to go broke. Well, definitely check out. I don't know if the, in the description I have a link to um, GK Model, but it is on GK Model on the left-hand side of the page. There's a tab that says uh, either studios. You can click on that and it is there and I believe it is in stock and it's like 148 shipped. Spend the extra $10 and have it DHL'd. Otherwise, you're looking at a really slow boat and having to deal with the post system, which is like cancer itself. So, yeah, they told me my door was blocked today. I'm nervous because the one statue I ordered a couple months ago, you know, it finally like it sat in China. It sat in China at one place at one port for what, John, like a month. And then all of a sudden it says departing on flight and then 24 less than 24 hours it's in new york and for three days it hasn't moved from new york now that doesn't mean that they haven't stuck it on like a train or something um, if it's in new york it's probably customs if it's three days with no update it's probably because it got stuck in customs yeah and i'm not surprised because i didn't see any customs update so i was like okay uh, Whenever it goes through anything that goes to New York or LA, it's gonna go through customs. Especially if it's taking forever to get through. I bought a dish drying rack and it is taking, or it got denied to, to, for delivery from USPS because my door was blocked. How my door was blocked, I have no idea. Because my door's not blocked off by anything. Stupid. They're just retarded. Sounds like someone was lazy that day. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Now I gotta contact fucking USPS. Or packaging is missing. So that is someone lost a package they weren't supposed to lose. Yeah. So I have um I have the rest of the stuff for my helmet coming and and they were nice enough they're sending me a new visor, because the visor uh, I have is all jacked up. It has a ripple in it. So um, they ship by uh, DHL. One package by DHL hasn't even left the UK yet, which is kind of weird because it's twin already left and it went to Cincinnati. Then it went to New York and it's in customs in New York. Normally for DHL packages go to LA 
then San Francisco, uh, and then here. So I don't know if there's Did a... the last one come that way because all my it's coming from Europe. So because if it's coming from Europe, it usually stops in New York. Yeah, all my last uh, packages from uh, from them, uh, two jackets and uh, two helmets and some accessories, uh, all all went directly to uh, L.A. and then to San Francisco, uh, and then to me. So I don't know if there's an issue with maybe in inbound packages going into L.A. Interesting. <sighs> it shouldn't impact LA though. Cause I know the only thing that's issue LA right now is the ports are still backed up. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. But that's not gonna change for like another year. Yeah. Uh which by the way, we have twenty two people in here. Thank you very much. Thank you almost everyone that's clicked the like button. Uh we have twenty likes, so that is much appreciated. And right now I am just laying out all the parts and then we will separate them into the sections. And I'm also doing this so that if I see anything ah, that just that's like an interesting gate. Uh oh, this one here, the little L. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that it's a gate. It looks like it's a bridge so that when they did it It's like... a support, it's a support so it doesn't so it doesn't warp when they cast it. Yeah. Either a support Which I mean, or ends up being a gate because you have to cut it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm imagining it so they, so when they pump it in, so that this part makes sure and fills up. Yeah, I mean that's definitely interesting. That also was... for alignment too, it keeps the circle proper lined up with the with the with the handle, rest of the handle. Yeah. You gotta stop sending me pictures of new PVC things that are coming out. They're pretty. They are They're very pretty. Very nice. So if you're into PVC figures, definitely check out uh almost all of them are Good Smile, aren't they? Um well Good Smile is selling them. So like the last one, for example, is from Mihoyo because um they sell the they're the owners of the Genshin IP. They're the actually they're actually the make they're the publisher and producers. Oh, okay, so they're they're not Good Smile production pieces. They're just distributed. Nah. Oh, yeah, okay. There's just Good Smile is distributing for outside of China, basically. Gotcha. That's what it is. So yeah, there are yeah, some. Good, Smi Good Smile has changed quite a bit. They used to only sell their own stuff, but then they've branched out to basically becoming their own little marketplace for figure for for PVC figures now. Gotcha. Yeah, some of their. So, I mean, new most stuff. of what they sell is theirs. But they also are, are willing to expand like other things. Yeah. So instead of your basic, uh, oh, that's nice too. Um, instead of the, their basic stuff, uh, like a figure on a round base, these are all like pretty dynamic. They have bases and like little dioramas and stuff with them. Um, yeah, they're also expensive as shit though. <laughs> they are, but for what you end up getting. I would also say for what they are, some of them I would not recommend even waiting. Like I would not recommend getting a resin kit, a resin <laughs> kit, because fuck all that noise. I, if you're a masochist, tiny parts that yeah. are definitely gonna snap. Yeah, if you're a masochist, then go for it. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there there's like someone like an Leona. entire entire door frame that should be photo etch, but do it do it in resin. Yeah, it's, good, it's gonna be a good time. Yeah, that would be a good time. Or the forty little loops for the dress Ugh. that are oh, like that quarter one. of a millimeter. Yeah, oh yeah, it's all balanced on it's all balanced on this little thin ass plant. <laughs> yeah, that was what I was like, really? Are, I mean, there's an extra like, clear support too, but it's it's both of those things are supporting it, and you can't do that with resin. Like this is some magical wizardry. Dave, is the hair part UV resin? Is what someone's asking. Uh, no. Uh, well, I don't think so. Hold on. Nope. Run the ultra, run, run run the naughty light on it. Yeah, no, uh, nothing is UV UV reactive, and I, 
like this thing will light up anything so no uh the hair part so this is the base of the hair part over here and then these are the hair hair pieces over here but what's funny is they're thin the color it's a tan resin but it's weird and it 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 looks like um uncooked pasta <laughs> is, is the only way i can describe it like uh beet pasta ew speaking of pasta i picked up what was it it was like a little like mini meal uh -huh. it's, it's from a brand it's a, from a new brand I've never seen before they're called devour okay surprisingly very good oh cool and it was like it was like two something so i mean the portion is tiny but the smell and taste was actually very good and it was very little effort if you just heat it up in the microwave you put the sauce in you heat it in the microwave and you mix everything else in when it's hot nice uh, Rolo says, I pre-ordered my first non-prize figure, Mary Satome from, uh, Kakaguri? You will appreciate how much nicer proper figures are if you buy like, anything north of the 150 range. Because there's a very noticeable quality jump when you hit from, like, like, there's a, there's a price, there's a, there's like the quality, there's like the, there's like the 40, $50 quality range. There's the lower price quality range of the price range, which is like thirty thirty dollars. There's this there's like the seven there's like the seventy eighty dollar price range quality, and then like you start seeing like the one fifty plus, which are really nice. Anything north of two hundred usually because it's a, like half the figure is clear clear PVC or it's a giant diorama. Uh, Lando says, I wonder if you could make fluorescent purple with Mr. Hobby clear base. Uh, as long as the fluorescent is, is a lacquer as well, you can. Um, and then yeah, you can make, uh, like, if you were painting a, a purple paint, you could add some purple fluorescent mix in there. Um, just be careful of how much that you end up mixing for a lightish tone or you could mist over it depending on how reactive that you want to you I would light. say I would just paint the clear on top instead of trying to mix it with the Mustafi clear yeah the uh, only reason you would mix it with a clear is basically if you want to dilute the color if you want to desaturate if you want to desaturate the color basically is the only reason why you'd mix it with a clear Uh, Chris Jones says, "Yeah, uh, yeah, John. They make a, they make good sandwiches. You cook in the microwave. Uh, Deadpool did a commercial for them." Um, Lando says, "To make clear resin glow under UV light." Um, you're still going to end up coloring it, though. Like if you're going to do that, just do the clear fluorescence, um, like like these. You know, because uh is this one clear i don't think this one's clear but basically like these uh except they're in clear i have i have some here like i don't doubt you can mix it in with mr hobby clear base i just don't think it's worthwhile unless you're trying to dilute the color <laughs> jo <laughs> jim says love it when john co-hosts Um, let's see, I got, like, that last package that I opened up, it had some weird coating stuff on the baggie itself. Not the pieces, but the baggies. And I can't stand this feeling on my hands. Um, so I will be back here in just a second. I gotta go wash my hands. Dave's hands are tainted. They are tainted. Feels like they have Rona all over them. It ain't, it ain't Rona. So it's why they don't want to use the. That's why it's not UV resin. They don't want you to see the nasties on the back. What are you working on, Jim?
Yeah, Dave rebranded because he wants it to make it more uh, approachable. And the channel name wasn't really indicative of what he's working on, of what kind of stuff he's working on. All oh, right, you you got that convert, you got that freaking dress up kit for that sh for the strike freedom. I forgot. I'm almost done chipping away at most of my backlog of the kids I actually care about. So I'll finally have a reason to start painting some stuff. Nice, six dollars isn't bad. Yeah, I know their mac and che their mac and cheese slash pasta stuff was like two something, but it's definitely a small portion. Um, it's definitely what I would call a meal for someone on a diet kind of portion. Um, I would like definitely consider putting in like more pasta yourself into their mix, or like adding some meat to it. But the seasoning is very good. I, I will give them that. They're, they have really good seasoning. Uh, Hinterlands Customs, you're asking how many, how many Dave's built? Dave's probably in like the 100 range, I would say. As for right, me, ratchet neighbors are bumping music next door. I'm probably well over 250 at this point. <clears throat> I used to have a very substantial high grade collection, but I gave basically all of it away to a friend when I moved. Uh, let's see here. Because it wasn't I worth selling. Uh... Say again, Lexi. I have successfully, semi-successfully built a goof. I mean, I have lots of Pokemon that I built. So I have, like, many a Pokemon. And I have a ship. I did build a ship. Did you enjoy but the I ship? I did. I had lots of fun with the ship. And I actually did have fun with the goof. Mm -hmm. Even if I did screw up there for a moment. <laughs> That's good. And now I have, like, 12 more to get through. Oh, was that, was that the care package from Leanne that he wasn't supposed to send you? Uh, him and the infamous Djibouti uh, teamed up on me. Uh, why? <laughs> what, 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 was, was there an un unwanted picture in the box, too, from Djibouti? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, I did not see... Okay, off the wall, how many Gundams have you built? Total rough estimate. Probably a hundred. Um, yeah, probably, yeah, easily, easily a hundred. Like I literally for, uh, that I'm sending to booty because I have a tendency, like I snap up and then I, I don't like hoarding them. My shit. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. But so, um, I have a tendency of, I, which, Alexi, I don't know what happened, but you're no longer in Discord. I think Discord kicked you. There you are. Um, so I have a tendency of, like, I build them, I put them on a shelf, and then they just collect dust. So I'm sending almost all of my snapped up kits that are in boxes in Ziploc bags to Djibouti for his kids to play with and for him to mess with. And there's probably 40 or so. Uh, the only things I don't ever get rid of are things that were given as gifts. So like uh, the Sananju bus that's behind me, that'll n never go away. Uh, it probably will never get painted, but it'll ne never be uh, go away. And uh, some other kits that were given away. Uh, the Red Dragon that, uh, that John gave me for Christmas, uh, that won't go anywhere. That's up on the shelf. Uh, I think there's a blue frame up there too. Um, so gift things I never get rid of, but other stuff like... I had fun building them, and I'm good, and they can go. 
Um, so what was interest? Uh, what's interesting now that I'm looking at this is it actually gives you instructions. So say you have this piece and it's broken here. It actually gives you instructions on what to use and how to like build it back up. Um, That's nice. Yeah. And I'm not sure if they're showing to glue the piece back. Yeah, they're showing to glue the piece back up. Um, I And I've never heard of whatever this red putty is. Um, but I'm assuming it's like a two-part epoxy. So that's kind of interesting. Um, showing you how to put the two hair pieces together. Uh, the diamonds just take a long time in general. Um, they're just big time investments. They're not just like short, fast builds. Like, like you could always just snap up a kit for, for Gumpla and then just come back to the project later. Tanks, you can't really do that because um they're not painted you, you, you they require a lot of prep work so they just you just just stick to you just stick to one project at a time and finish it so so i am yeah, if you ever have questions just always ask I'm always glad to answer them yeah and if you're not um over there is a link in the thing to the discord in the description um and i am notoriously bad though i try and get better at going over and hanging out over there but there are always plenty of people there's a section over there for uh questions and things like that there's always a ton of people over there uh willing to answer questions um yeah i build mostly mecha stuff i don't just stick strictly to gunpla so i just have a giant robot collection and i build a little bit of everything uh, i don't do like cars and stuff anymore just because i grew up doing that and i don't i don't care for those anymore um but i have full respect for people that do uh like the custom cars and, and stuff like that yeah car build always good always fun to look at but not so not so much fun to do the work yourself yeah <laughs> Uh, like I, I love I, seeing like ship dioramas. Oh yeah, it's always cool. Like seeing the waves and crashing and stuff, and like like the foam that people paint on the waves. But fuck doing that yourself. Yeah, <laughs> not fun. <laughs> I've always wanted to attempt like one of the wooden ships, like the the old classic ships. But at the same time, like I'm gonna wait until I'm like 60 because evidently that's the age that you're supposed to do those things at. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, those look really detailed and stuff. It just, uh, it's one of those like really time consuming projects. Like you really have to be involved in that. I've, I've been wanting to pick up the, like the Japanese wood kits for like the palaces and stuff, like buildings and stuff. Oh, that would be cool. They're just not oh, cheap. <laughs> yeah. So right now I am separating the parts for the head. Or trying to anyway. Is that your next evolution, Dave? What? You get old and you become a trained man. No. Uh, so here's the thing. I always wanted to train yes. as a kid. And then as I got older, I realized the, uh, you need a lot of space if you're doing train stuff i mean i love doing the i'd love doing the, the the diorama and the base stuff but i just i don't have a real appeal for the the whole train genre i like trains like train people are on a whole nother level yeah that they are um... i do need to work on my valkyrie chronicles tank um, I keep on putting it off. Two tanks that I... Two tanks that I really liked or like the look of are uh, the... Uh, which one? The, the... Is it 132nd tank for the Gundam... Uh, what the Father Federation one. Yeah, that tank. It's expensive for no fucking reason. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's like the equivalent of like a thirty, of like a forty dollar tank from like tank model kits, but it's like uh, it's like base retail price is like eighty five, and it yeah. goes for like two hundred bucks now. Yeah, so I had <laughs> one of those. I sent that to Chris. 
I built it and I sent it to Chris. Um, and it, it was a fun, it was a fun build. And then the the Warhammer one, uh, the Bane Blade, is that what it is? Yeah, the big fucker, yeah. Yeah. The Bane Blade's the big one. That one, that one was cool as hell. I think I sent him that one too. That one was freaking massive. Like it was freaking huge. Like, but Fuck. if you're, uh oh. What the hell? Um, but if you're into tanks and stuff, That's like, That's like bullshit. The military stuff is is pretty damn cool. Ooh, I've never had that happen before. Why? What, what happened? I was sending out a, I was filing down a nub, mm -hmm. and instead of just filing it down smoothly, like I just chunk of plastic just ripped out. Ew! I've never seen that happen before. That weird. I've literally never had that happen before. Well, I mean, at least it's easy enough to fix this at the edge. I can just fill it with putty, but yeah, I've literally never had that happen before. All right, now we're gonna do the chest section. So this is all the parts for I the. I'm wondering if the plastic is bad because this is made by Square Enix. <laughs> it's like the first kit they ever did. Uh, maybe. Also, a very fucking expensive ass kit for what it is, but whatever. Um, Tenderlands Customs. If you want to watch shows to get into the feel of it, um, the anime and movie, it hasn't aged well, honestly. Um, but I would look into Zero Ape MS Team, which takes the same time frame as the original show, as the original show and movie. Um, War in the Pocket is also a good one, same time frame as well. That gives you like the more civilian aspect on the war towards the end of the war, and then Stardust Memories is really good, and that leads you straight into Zeta. Um, Zero Ape MS Team and Stardust are pretty popular among people that like the UC franchise because it's less about the people's special abilities, is more about the grunts of grunt fighting the war situation. I, I did really like uh, MS Team. Yeah. Zero Ape MS Team is what why everyone loves the goof. <laughs> yeah. Iron Blood Orphans is its own universe. So anything that is not the UC timeline is their own individual universe. So Iron Blood Orphans is completely self contained. So Iron Blood Orphans, Wing, Gundam Wing, G Gundam, Gundam, Gundam X, uh, Turn A, um, those are all Gundam Double O, Gundam Age, they're all their own unique universes independent from the other series. UC t the UC timeline is the one that all the main series are connected to that follow the main story. So, like, for example, the Hathaway movie is, like, the latest chapter into the easy timeline. So here's all the pieces for the chest, supposedly. And now we're doing oh. the waist. Uh... Zero eight MS team. If you want, just I can just type everything out if you want me to. Also, I would say the Zero Eight MS team and Stardust tend to hold up a lot better animation-wise because they're originally made as OVA series, so they had a lot bigger budget on hand, and they also were during the golden age of, anim of anime where there was a lot more budget to allocate the shows than they are nowadays, where you're either a 13-episode show or you better be 
a hell of a money maker. That's gonna be fifty two episodes, or you're a, the major, the last big of the Shonen Three series. Yeah, just as are more in the back line. I mean, the other issue, the reason why you probably don't see Justas is partially due to the fact that Justas... Like, Unic Gundam Unicorn was written after Hathaway. So, like, Justas didn't exist back then. But, I mean, the other reason is that Justas are very much um, Special Forces units as well. And this is why I love having John on, because he's very knowledgeable about all this. And I, on the other hand, like, ooh, I like. <laughs> like, I don't know the timelines and stuff like that, nor do I really care. I just, ooh, I like. Yeah, just as are very much pseudo Gundam units, basically. They're they're made for the best of the best. They're not they're not mass produced type of units. Why is it There's they some... cats always get into things they shouldn't at the last minute? Wait, Say that again? Why do cats always get into things they shouldn't at the last minute? They're cats? Yeah. <laughs> Canonically, Hathaway comes after Unicorn by almost 10 years. It's actually nine. Um, but the, no the original source material, the novel, was written way before Unicorn ever was. And that's why you have this like weird period where you look at the UC timeline, where like Jigens just exist everywhere for no for no reason. Like mm -hmm. when they're like easy like 30, 40 years old suits. Like even F ninety one for example. That's that's like another example. F ninety one they're still using Jigens because they hadn't at the time d developed designed new mobile suits to sell. So they're just like, oh yeah, we just up uh, we just they just made slight modifications to the Jigen, which doesn't make sense in the universe because. The Gundam universe likes to revamp mobile suit designs every like five years or so. So, honestly, the develop the UC timeline, some of the cool little details lies in like the development histories between mobile suits. Like the Titanzilla of experimenting of mobile suit designs. Um. How like the Mark II is the original um, mobile suit with a movable frame, which is like a big deal because it cuts the weight in half, basically. Which also lends itself to the Zeta be able to transform as well because the armor is no longer hard locked into place. I mean, there are really cool Jigen variants. We're just stubbornly being denied the kits <laughs> consistently. We know you want it, but we're not going to give it to you. Oh, oh, they know they know that people want it. They're definitely get they're definitely making sure that they get every penny out of it. They know everyone wants to start Jigen because of the fucking unicorn episode one, but I really want the prototypes. Stark Jigen from the novel design. Okay, so that goes there. I mean, th that is true, Legato, but I mean, the the real reason that that's that's just a reason they put in for marketing, right? The real, the main issue is that Bandai had Bandai had it come up with new designs to sell stuff. Which is like Jigens are so out of place in F91 in particular because they're big ass mobile suits when everything F91 had already started becoming very miniaturized. And the whole reason why the F91 designs were small in the first place was because 
there was a recession and they had to cut down on prices. So to do that, they had to cut. They had to make the mobile. They had to make the mobile suits smaller so that the cannon size for model kits becomes smaller as well, so that they could still turn a profit on kits. At least they make it pretty clear, like, what parts... I mean, I... So, I much prefer them doing the instructions this way, even though it's not super clear. Like, the prime resin on a background versus the... Just the parts laid out uh, on a, like, CG style. Um, this makes it much easier. Uh, I mean, any ho any any hobby, there are always people that argue. Um, especially when such when people make it political. Hmm. Because politics never causes arguments. Never. Absolutely not. Um. <laughs> but most people are just pretty chill. Yeah, especially over in like the um, the Discord group, even the Facebook group too. But um, Discord tend to see more, more arguments active. though when it becomes more about co competitive builds and stuff. That's usually where you start seeing more arguments because mm -hmm. everyone's rooting for their favorite builder, saying like, "Oh, these builds are really good." Thank you, Hinterlin, for the $5 super sticker. Thank you very much. I make you wonder, did I put, did I put the Streamlabs into this? I thought you disabled the super chats. Uh, I left the super stickers. Oh yeah. It's Okay, so the regular donation things in it's still in there, which is cool. I'm I'm happy with the super stickers. That's that's awesome. Yes, I love having John um, on here because he he knows everything that I don't. Um, and also like I enjoy I actually learn a lot from him um, about like suits and stuff like that. I mean, I'm also someone Excellent. that just relentlessly reads in my free time about anything that interests me. So. Like, I think I just downloaded, like, a three gig PDF on mm -hmm. illust illustrations from the, of, like, new illustrations of the easy characters. Uh, let's see, Legato, yep, you're right, John. It's nice to finally meet another person who knows a lot about Gundam and anime. I seldom uh, meet people who know about Gundam and anime. <laughs> Um, let's see I here. have not watched the new Get a Robo. I am waiting for it to finish. I rather binge Get a Robo than do anything about it. I don't think they're ever gonna dub Gundam X. Um, not that old. <laughs> it's old. Um, but I think the other main issue is that one of the character, one of the female characters, is very much underage, and she is very much nude in one of the scenes in the sh one of the episodes. Oh goodness, no. I mean, it's not it's not explicit or graphic, but it's it's still something it's still not in an environment right now where that would be acceptable. So, mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to ever that's acceptable. Um, I, I mean, in Japanese media, it's very much still a thing. It's just there's no reason to dub it because it's not impro it wouldn't it's not considered okay over here. Mm -hmm. Why anime has beach episode? Every single fucking anime has a beach episode, or <laughs> a pool episode, or just some generic swimsuit episode. Like literally, like one out of fifty shows will have will be denied a beach or swimsuit episode. Interesting. You learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. Like people joke about it, but it's it's actually a thing. Had no idea. Uh, 
yeah the new it's an interesting design i'm still very much a fan of the the shingetter shingetter one um i'm looking forward to the new grandizer kit that's coming out i can't but it's not made by bandai it's being, it's being made, by, made by someone else though but the kit looked really good when i saw the prototype last week i can't remember who was making it though I think it might have even been Good Smile. Of course it was. <laughs> well, I mean, they're the only, they're the one, they've been going all out. They've yeah, only they started have. making kits a year ago and they've been pushing hard on design, on making new kits. Uh, Legato LL Star had that Hot Springs episode. I think it was uh, episode 23. Um, uh, was only aired on Adult Swim. Too spicy for US hot wave, uh, airwaves. Yeah. Well, we almost have this, have this guy fully separated. I, Jim and Boo, I do believe that Asuka is naked for one of the shots because he, like, walks into, he walks in on her when they first meet, basically, in the sh the shower scene. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Bandai already has a Grandizer kit, which is not bad. It's the infinitism design. I just, I'm just not a fan of the, the head. The head looks very cartoony, which I mean is fine for people that like the cartoony d design, but I like the more aggressive renditions of the Grandizer that's just more menacing. The detailing is great on it, Jim and Bo Jim, but I just don't think the head doesn't look very good. I think the head is really goofy. I think Sume did a really nice statue of the Grandizer. Is that either Sume or uh, it was Sume? Never mind. Yeah, it was Sume. They had a really nice Grandizer statue. And had like a million swap outs for it too. I have not, I haven't kept up with that in the Unicorn manga. But I wouldn't be surprised if someone has it translated. Does anybody want a what? A cat. Were you just trying to, to get me to send you mine? I I have decided. She is not happy with her cat. Very oh. different. He just, he just took out all of the monitors. Like he knocked over all my monitors, broke more glass, and I just I am so over it. Sorry to hear that. It's fine, I'll figure out how to fix them later. So basically he's saying, pay attention to me, bitch. Well, you know, I, he's gonna have to suck it up. <laughs> this is my life now, I leave. But even when I was home, he didn't want anything to do with me. Now that I'm not home, he's suddenly like, well, why are you here? What do you mean, why am I not here? <laughs> Welcome to cat life. Yep. He's ridiculous. Yells at me every morning, yells at me at night. I'm tired of his dramatic bratty attitude. So, if anybody's interested in a dramatic cat, let me know. I just thought that was all cat. All cats were dramatic. 
I mean, yes, but he takes his level of dramaticism to a whole nother level. <laughs> like, he will crawl into the cabinets underneath the sink, either in the kitchen or in the bathroom, and then he'll cry. Uh, Even though you didn't put him there, I didn't put him there, he did it to himself, and then he cries. Come get me. <laughs> or he'll climb into the bathtub and cry inside the bathtub. Or he'll sit there and yell while laying on the floor. Like, not even, like, sitting on the floor. Like, I'm talking fully pretzeled out onto the floor and just yell. It sounds like he's missing something. Brain cells. And then he'll chase his little toys at, like, 3 a.m. all over. And I can't close the door, because if I close the door, then he screams and, like, will non-stop me out until I open the door again. And when you think that he actually will run out of air and he'll eventually have to stop, he doesn't. Mine He's does like a panic alarm. He just doesn't stop. Mine doesn't do that, but what mine does do is... If I close the door all the way, especially after, like, I put Heidi to bed and say I'm in here, I'm talking to you guys or I'm talking to somebody and I've got the door closed because I don't want to disturb her. And then he will jump and, like, scratch down the door and bat at the door handle. Just bat, 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 bat. I'm like, oh, really? But then I open the door and he just like looks inside. He well, he won't actually come in. He just looks inside. Like, oh. I think cats have this need that they have to see what's on the other side of the door. Not that they're gonna go actually in, but they have to have that option available to them. Otherwise, they lose their minds. Okay, so and this piece goes with the back. See you later, Legato. Oh, bye, Legato. By the way, Dave, do you want to do the anime watching night on Saturday, or are you going to skip out because of your work thing? Uh, I should be able to. Uh, I'll check, see, because my work thing will be in the morning, so. Okay. Just checking. So, uh, Chris Jones says, Lexi, why was he crying earlier? Uh, probably that, just cat being a cat. Cat being a bitch is what it is. Exactly. Because Crying he's, over nothing. <laughs> he's bratty, and I decided I would be nice and fill his food bowl up again, even though it really wasn't empty. He's got full water. He has access to all of his beds, and his litter box is clean. He's just dramatic. Wait, do cats forget about their litter box not being clean? Oh, yes, they do. And they will let you know if it is not up to their standard. Huh. And eventually, if you do not clean it or they decide that it's not clean enough, they will pee or poop somewhere else in your house. Um, See you later, Corey. Bye, Corey. Uh... Yeah, in that case, if we're watching on Friday, day, on Saturday, Dave, we'll just continue off for our creators on episode six. Okay, cool. I'll uh, uh, post an announcement in the in the Discord, actually. So, um, mine Tigger, he will uh, he'll poop on things, um, not just randomly in the house. He will pick things like uh, shoes, um, charger cables, things that you will find. Um. I have... How does he poop on a charger cable? Oh, oh, he... He's mastered the ability to poop on things. <laughs> um... That's funny. Wait, what does this go to? So that's for the leg. Okay. So, these two pieces, if you end up getting it, uh, are kind of confusing. They show in here, and I'll have to use the translator, but this actually gets attached to the leg. But it doesn't actually show it when you're in the leg 
part separation uh, this section here so I will make sure and mention that when I do the actual video um, and then what does these go to So we have all of the parts, we have all the parts separated into different sections. Um, we have the head, we have the chest, which is not a lot of parts, but then again, the Barbatos doesn't make up a lot of parts. Um, this is the waist section. I think arms, shoulders, legs, feet, um, you can kind of see it. I had them all laid out. So, two of the swords, or two of the swords, the, um, the longer this thing here, you have the bigger sword that is right here, which Lexi's shaking ass is in the way. I'll move it over here. There we go. Sorry. You're all good. I'm the one that put you there. Um, this is the bigger sword. And then this is whatever that thing is. Like, I'm not sure, but it looks pretty badass. So I'm assuming it, it it's a scabbard slash weapon. I'm assuming. Um, but I do think I'm missing a piece. Um, it looks like I'm missing one of these, but it's shorter. Well, I'm assuming I contact New Type and let them know, since I bought it from them, and I don't know how to contact either themselves. So, I'm not highly concerned. I mean, unless, yeah, I don't see it here. I will take a picture of that. I will shoot them a message on Facebook right now. Them a message. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, cool. I had a calico that loved to spray, but was a female and was spayed. Yeah, see, th that's where you have to like make sure and get them fixed before they learn how to spray. Um, and when she did, it was pinkish, like it had blood. Well, that doesn't seem right. God, reminds me when I had my when we neutered our dog. We neutered him after he started humping things. Oh, and so it just continued. Yeah, it, just, it wasn't as, it wasn't as bad as before, but he's still humping. But man, when we brought him back, that after after, we, after he got neutered, he he went into his cage and he was looked at us like we were traitors to him. <laughs> for a couple of days. Uh, you dirty bastards, how could you have done this to me? Right. I don't even I don't even know that monk even I mean uh bear when we had bear that he even cared. Um I have a couple of friends, they they have a they have a parasomoyads. 
and they found out you're not supposed to space Samoyeds because it completely changed the, like their pe their personality completely changes actually. Oh. And not only does their personality change, um, like their their coat changes well. Like so, their their coat becomes like they're known for having like really soft like coats and stuff. Mm -hmm. But when you like space slash near them, like their coats become ruined. Like they feel like they feel like they've been like outside dirty. Like their their fur is always rough to touch. Gotcha. So after the first dog got got spayed, they decided not to neuter the, the other one because it was such a drastic change for the dog. Yeah. So they felt it wasn't worth it. That's weird. The only problem was the guy was not neutered, so female that was spayed clearly did not want any of the did not want any attention mm -hmm. he wants all the attention he wants all the action yeah yeah <laughs> and she very clearly put him in his place saying bitch i'm not for this shit So I don't see anything special about this resin. It's just typical tan resin. Shit, it's not it's like it's not like the magic powder stuff. God. Um Oh Lexi left. Oh. Yeah, her thing's pro her thing probably dropped her again. That or the cat killed her. I mean, both are faith, both are uh, safe bets. <laughs> you never discount cat murder. So, so on the sword hill, on the one side that they put the poor tab, which I personally would have put the poor tab up here instead of. Well, let me switch over to the better view. Uh, I personally would have put the poor tab up here instead of on the side where the detail is. Um, but you're, we are going to have to just rescribe in some lines to match the other side. No biggie though. Um, let's see here. Lando says, oh, Dave, looking at more layout photos for the weapons. I think the spear, uh, is a three part handle. It is. So there's this piece this piece and then there's one that's supposed to be exactly like this but half the size uh and i'm missing the half the size so i already took a picture and sent it to new type and see what they end up saying um i am not going to super hold my breath on that but i mean who knows i mean i'd feel like, hey Djibouti, uh i'd feel like crap if they cracked open a brand new kit just to send me that one piece well they shouldn't be that, that they shouldn't be doing that what what they should be doing is contacting the person that contacting either studios for replacement yeah which is which is what um i mean i'd rather them do now the flip side is it's probably if, the, if that actually does happen it means you're gonna have to wait like two months to get that piece in yeah which i mean whatever Possibly even longer, depending on when they decide to recap, make do another casting. They don't have a spare piece on hand for you. It's Jabuti. Uh, yeah, so I'm not super worried about. I'm not going to display it with the with that version or uh, with it put together like that anyway. So it doesn't really matter to me. I can finagle using the shorter shorter handle for going in the base. Um, so not a not a big deal on that. See how this ends up looking. Okay. 
I'm probably going to go here pretty soon because I'm hungry as shit. Food is good. I almost had half the mind of going, you know, if I go in tonight and I do my three hours tonight, could I basically do a 16 hour day tomorrow? <laughs> Would I be alive to do a stream? Uh, Lando says, wonder why they chose the white color scheme for Macho. Um, probably personal preference. It also shows off the details. Now, I did end up seeing some pictures online that they had three of them together. The armors all look the same color. It just had different color hairs. So mm. I think one was black, one was purple, one was reddish. Of, of this kit so but that could have been like a studio I don't I don't even know I was just looking for pictures to use for the the thumbnail a little bit warped but not bad Being awfully quiet, Leon. I'm just driving, Dave. Are you having one of those days? Eh, probably. Okay. Just checking on you. Yeah, shut the hell up. Yeah, he's fine. Uh. Interline Customs. This has been fun. I look forward to future live streams. You guys are what I call good people. Not always easy to find. Thank you very much. That's, uh, the, I mean, that's what I try and what we try to be is just chill. Um, you know, I make mistakes. Your job is to learn from my mistakes. Um, but I do, unless something drastic ends up happening, I have pretty much gotten myself into the habit of, even when I don't feel like it, doing streams on Thursdays and Fridays, 7 p.m. Pacific. Um, so you can usually always find us around that time. Um, let's see here. Lando says, most picks I see of Machoya, he's in green with gold. But yeah, the white does show off more detail. What's up, Whole Milk? You're super late. Um... I don't know what color scheme that I necessarily want this guy to be. I know that I want like uh, red accents, uh, like for the hair. But as far as the rest of the suit, I don't know. Um, and I am going to probably, uh, while I'm eating or so forth, I'm going to go through and find out what parts. I'm assuming it's mostly just the frame um, of the master grade that I need and start clipping out those parts and putting them together. Maybe we'll just piece this together tomorrow on stream. Uh, though tomorrow I do have two packages coming um, from US Gundam Store, which is all of the SMS paint that I ordered. And then uh, a new type package, which is all the extra scriber tips that I ordered. And I don't know what else is coming tomorrow. I don't remember. I was about to say, better, better not be your, better not be new kits, Dave. <laughs> no, no, no. You has got a new kit. You can't be distracted yet, just yet. You need to give it a week. Um, yeah, the, uh, the Zaku, I can't really do anything with until I get a perfect grade. Other Dave says that he thinks that he has one, maybe two at home. 
uh, when he gets back from out of town, he'll take a look. I'll send him some money for shipping. He's determined to send them. Um, I'll send him some money for shipping. Because I think literally all I need is the legs and some uh, polycap parts for uh, some other pieces. That means you can use the top half for a bus, for a diorama. Yeah. Oh, wait, he does use the chest. I forgot about that. The inner core for the chest. But, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of pieces that can be used for, for something like that. Uh, wait, hold on. Whole Milk, also yesterday was my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Whole Milk. Happy, happy birthday. birthday uh, to you. And that's all you get. Um... Happy birthday. Uh, Hitcherlin says perfect on Mountain Standard Time. So that would make it about 8 o'clock your time. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hello, John. Hello, Leon. Hello, Dave. Hey, hey. You sound tired. Yeah. Chris First Jones, day back. Chris Jones says, yeah, he's good people. Just don't mention the PA word being painting. <laughs> 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 the only person I give you shit about saying that is you. Um, and let's see. Chris Jones says, happy birthday. Yep. So, happy, happy birthday, dude. Um, well, good to hear you back. Uh, I'm assuming things are okay on the home front? Yes. Good. Did you just get off work or something? Yes. Okay. I, f I heard you slurping coffee, so I'm like, usually he does that after he's gotten off work. Yes, sir. Dude, you guys are actually uh, getting a little, ex little extra time of me just kind of messing around with this. And... So this is a kit. <laughs> yep. Dave got a new kit. The Barbados Aether conversion kit. Now this uses the master grade, right? Yes. Yep. Because anyone that uses the full mechanics as a base is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> How do I know? I have a kit and and a rant and as a random uh, detail that cannot stand anymore because polycaps have gone to shit. I have one of each. Yeah, for some reason you have a hard on for the Barbatos. I mean, it's a nice, it's a fine design. That's a good design. Someday I still I'll think the exposed torso is stupid, though. Can't convince me otherwise. Oh, yeah, yeah. I you want an easy kill? <laughs> Put pointy thing here. Yeah. You win. <laughs> yep, the two exposed shocks right there in the torso. Dave, Jim's asking how the casting is. Uh, the casting is really good. Uh, I think I only felt one ru uh, rough spot, and that was on, like, the edge. And I think it was one of these. Uh, which, I mean, but it's on the outside edge. Like, I can see just a little lip uh, on here. But other than that, casting's really good. I've been really happy so far. Now... Once I start piecing it together, that that'll be the true, uh, true test. But the the Gunner Zaku, like it went together like a dream. Like everything literally snapped onto the frame. Um, the details are nice and crisp, and clean. I've been happy with uh with their work so far. Fuck! Why is this one piece? <laughs> So, Hinterland, since you're since you're newer, um, which if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> um, 
So <laughs> very Chris, subtle, Dave. Very I, subtle. I know. I try. I try. Um, so Chris always gives me crap about uh, not painting and 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 or priming. Just priming. Priming is not painting. I mean, it's sort of deserved. <laughs> it is. It is sort of deserved. Which I should, I mean, honestly, I should be able to start now because now that my AC is freaking working and it doesn't end up being like 85, 90 degrees in the freaking hobby room. Um, I've heard this story before. Yes, I know. <laughs> Shut up, John. Jesus. <laughs> this is like the con. Many times. This is like the many, many times. conscious that didn't really I've, want I've heard this story m many years in a row. <laughs> But I am, uh, with part of the rebranding of the channel, I am also trying to rebrand myself in a way of things change of how I end up doing it. So mid, mid year New Year's resolution. Yeah, mid New Year's resolution. Um, a couple people were harassing me that, you know, eh, every couple of years, maybe six months, I rebrand the channel and I've been thinking about doing this for some time. I just, I didn't sit down and commit to it. Uh, so this I've actually committed to. I actually made up some merch uh, and I'm gonna see how that looks cause that should be here next week just to see how the logo actually looks both printed and embroidered on stuff. Um, they do have like some uh, cups, some enamel covered cups that I can put my, uh, put my logo on that you can use for holding your tools and magnets. I'm way, uh, that's one of the things I have uh, coming. So that'll be cool if you can like actual magnets will stick to it and be a tool holder and stuff. Something, something that people will use. Chris, I haven't joined the dark side. I, I was the creator. <laughs> I've been giving Dave shit on painting for yeah many many years. Oh, thank you for the <laughs> subscription, Hinterland. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, curious. I haven't seen your name in forever. Uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. And let's see here. Uh, right. I'm sure you'll finally get something painted. Day. Uh, like I I like painting minis. I have some painted minis. Does that count? Um. Uh, you know what? Let me do. Well, Hinterlands, Hinterlands, if you finish a kit by like November, I think there is a contest in Southern California. If you want to bring a kit and bring a kit there, you have some free time. Let's see. Let me find your channel, Hinterlands. <laughs> oh. Boop. Go. Hinterlands. Established 2015. Oh, nice. Well, let's see. Oh, you're almost to a thousand subscribers. Let's fix this shit. So here is Hinterland's channel. Um, you sexy people that are still here and or coming along, um, hit that link and, uh, Show Henderson some loves. Looks like he does tanks, weathering. Um, we got uh, some car stuff. Oh, you got the display um, Lunar New Year nippers. Um, da -da 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 -da. So you got some of your videos are older, uh, five years, two years, and just a couple in the last year. But yeah, good stuff. I will check that out after the uh, after the stream. Um, Hinterland says I'm near Boise, but I could pull off a road trip. Um, Whole Milk says boom subbed. You don't have to. You don't have to, but it's it's a pretty big competition. It's a good way to meet a lot of people. I think they I think we they normally get like several hundred entries per year. 
Uh, it's a good way to meet a lot of people, so. Uh, Zaku Zero, no. My code does not work. Nobody's code works there. Uh, nobody's code works over at New Type either. The only place that code work, that codes work, is at, uh, USA Gundam. USA. Um, you can use Zax, uh, or any of the other guys that are sponsored by them for, uh, 10% off, or you can just subscribe their newsletter and you automatically get a 10% off coupon code. Uh, for your first purchase or, or anything, but no, nobody's codes are working at these places, supposedly because of Bandai shortages on kits, though I see places like Gundam Pros getting in pallets of kits, uh, so... Not I that. mean, there's a straight up, sh there is a shortage, Dave. I mean, there's a shortage even in Japan. No, no, I, I know that there's a shortage. Uh, I just think it's kind of crappy that they didn't, like, because there's they they sell other things other than Gundam kits like a lot of other things that like tools and stuff that's what the majority of people that use my code over galactic was using was for yeah for tools i mean also it's just profit margins like i know hobby much of you are aware but hobby japan recently one of their editors posted a really inflammatory message mm. online and he basically made fun of everyone that was like getting screwed over by the scalping right now and like told people like you're an idiot for not pre-ordering and shit and let's just say uh he doesn't, really bad <laughs> he doesn't work there anymore uh <laughs> they, they worded it a little differently from they fired him <laughs> gotcha they they made it sound like they're they just killed him yakuza style and just offed him <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, I did it, not, it was really bad. I did not. Uh, I did not catch that. But then again, I, like I don't troll all that stuff for, for all of that. It was super bad though because they're already not. They're, they've been on a downhill track for a while because you know magazines aren't a big thing anymore. Yeah. And because of it, a lot of prominent mo a lot of modelers in general have just said they're, ne they're never touching Hobby Japan ever again. That sucks. Um, so here's the the biggest of the swords, just pieced together, like literally pieced together, and it looks it looks good. Like I like it. Um, it went together really well. Uh, I'm not really seeing any gaps and stuff. Uh, let's see here. Uh, building slowed down in the last couple of years. Uh, same here. Just sub. Uh. Hinterland asks what town in California uh, the contest is in. Uh, Chris Jones says F Galactic Toys. Um, I'm really disappointed in them because I've actually inquired because I wanted to purchase some stuff that I know sometimes they have stuff in stock in the store that they don't have online, mostly being the Zakus. I can't get I can't get a response from them to save my life. Like he, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, I'm still waiting for my Evangelion Unit 6. I would send them an email, especially if they're saying that they have it in stock. No, they have they said that? Because they told me they haven't gotten it in stock yet. Oh, and they, they may not. The Eva 6. That's the black one, right? Yeah. No, the, the, I believe the black one is Unit 3. The 6 is the uh, the blue one. Blue one? Mm-hmm. The blue one mm -hmm. should be zero, 0 which is Ray's unit. No, it's, um... <clears throat> it's a, um... What do you Are you talking about the one with the spear? It... Yeah. That's, that's not blue. that's that's like yellow and like a purple like no. yellow like a navy blue no here i'll send you a picture of it yeah the uh, mark six is yeah mark six is like a like a navy blue with a yellow with a, with a spear yeah that's the one uh yeah that one's delayed for most people i don't know anyone that has that in right now the only people that ha only people that have it retailers are the ones that paid for fucking dhl basically wow 
New, I just got an email from New Type. They they have them in, and um, I believe either USA or Gundam Planet had gotten them in before that. I would say I would say I'd bet on Gundam Planet. They've been, they've been paying for expedited shipping lately. Uh, I would not bet on USA because USA is notoriously always late on shipments compared to everyone else. Yeah, like uh, they're always like a full. They're always like a minimum like a week behind everyone else, if not like a month. And now, um, Galactic Toys is doing a, a pre-order for Unit Three. What the fuck is up with my hair? Jesus Christ. Uh, that was that was not cute that's still not cute what the fuck is that shit I look like I stuck my tongue in a light socket uh, let's see here hinterland do you guys uh, like new type uh, so new type is one thing I've learned about new type is new type is good because what they have on their site is generally they have it in stock um, They'll, they'll pull things that they don't have in stock other than like tools and paints um, they'll they'll keep that stuff up there but they'll it'll say like sold out um, and they don't do pre-order that, that I'm aware of uh, they are more expensive on stuff than other places but they do also have a tendency of getting stuff faster uh, and also resin kits if you don't want to order from overseas they are more expensive but they have them um versus ordering from because a lot of people don't know that they can get a lot of the kits from um like a gk model and uh and get it shipped that way uh a lot of places rely on like ebay and ebay scalpers and stuff like that yeah, I'd avoid eBay for kits and for kits in general, unless you're willing to pay like a significant up mark. Um. So I thought I had found a like a reliable shop that I really liked, and then, and I'm not saying that they're that Galactic is bad. They just they drop their codes, which okay, it is what it is. Um, and their response has gone from like i can just message the owner whenever to like now he just never responds so i don't know if there's some issues going on there uh so i am always looking for new shops to try out i've found a couple and i'll probably order some just to see how it is there's a place in katy texas except for they have a physical shop they don't have a web store, but they have on Facebook and I have messaged them three times and they have yet to even look at the message. So that doesn't bode well for me. Um, let's see, uh, Dead to Death posted the link to the Gundam guys, which are, there are some really cool people uh, that run that show. Yep. Um, Fun little contest. There's a lot of big vendors come there. God, I remember when that was just like a handful uh, of people. A yeah, handful of people. I do too. And I got <laughs> I got invited to down to come down a long time ago for like one of their their monthly get-togethers where they just fucking eat and build and chill at the house. And I still want to do that sometime if they still do that. Cause they seem no, like they, really yeah, cool they, they still regularly do the little hangouts. Yeah, because they seem like really cool people. Uh, and let's see, Dave, uh, they finally got in touch with me about the Master Grade Wing Gundam, about the missing piece. They wanted me to send the whole kit back, including the box, and I told them I already snapped it up and threw it away. Uh, uh, the box. And they said, sorry, can't help you anymore. The fuck? I, what? It, Chris, on Discord, send me a picture of the instruction manual, what piece you're missing, and I will pull it off of my master grade wing that's somewhere. I don't know where. It's in a Ziploc in Djibouti's box. Like, um, so, sorry, Djibouti, your master grade wing's getting raped. Um, 
Yeah. Is it the Burka EW? I probably it's whatever the yeah. last wing was. Yeah, I have one. Okay, so you're getting extra parts. I I, <laughs> I know you I know you didn't. You're you're getting ninety nine point nine 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 percent of a kit. Yeah. <laughs> Like literally, you're getting. I, I already told Leon about this. You're. I have two or three boxes for you that are literally filled with Ziploc baggies full of kits that have been snapped up over the periods of time that I'm just sending you for the boys to. I don't know, slingshot off the top of the house. I don't. Don't know, nor do I care. I'm just getting them out of my house and in your house. Uh. Uh, Riptos, uh, your background looks awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's it's evolution. Um, uh, and lighting mostly. Uh, whole milk. Chris pimp slapped them. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't get that. I mean, I understand them not wanting to. But I don't know. I I don't get business practice of some places, sometimes. Um, but we've been going for about two and a half hours. I did kind of pin this piece together. Uh, just for scale, that's about five inches or so. Um, but so far it went together like really well. Everything's real clean. Um, I will probably sit here and trim off nubs. And like I said, tonight I will probably just clip out whatever pieces I need from the Barbatos. And then I will send all the leftover parts to Djibouti to do whatever he does with Barbatoses at night. Um, and go from there. Uh, well, mostly painting and stripping. <laughs> yeah, he does Nothing do that. wrong with that. As long as you're painting properly eventually. Oh, you know what I will do? I will give you guys a sneak peek before I do the video of, oh, let's zoom that out a little bit. There we go, there we go. So this is the display paint mixer. Uh, the vortex thing? The vortex thing, yeah. Uh, Raz says, I need to go back and catch what I've missed. Uh, I've got to get some sleep. Take care of everyone. Have a good one, Raz. I will hopefully sleep see you important. tomorrow. Yes, somewhat. Um, Even if we only get three hours. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, Dave, before you go, can you show the mixer? Oh, which is funny. like. <laughs> I wasn't even planning on, like, you didn't even have to say that. I just looked over and saw it. So it, it, inside this sleeve comes two little boxes. Uh, you have the USB and the magnetic stirring rods is what they say. There's 20 of them in here. And evidently, you can order more of these um, from them. <laughs> But I'm going to. I went online to see if they sold those separately. I, I didn't see. Yeah, one of the reviewers. Yeah, one of the reviewers said that you could get them separately. I'm going to check and see if I can find. Because they're not stainless steel. Because stainless steel should not be this magnetic. Like, like it's, it's it's magnetic magnetic. Uh, so my my concern is reaction to chemicals and reaction to acrylics. Like, is it going to rust? Um, now, if what I do know about this is when using the paint models are screwed tight to avoid splatter. Uh, paint balls between 2.5 and 6 centimeters in diameters. Turbine rotors made for 40C processed steel and will not rust due to paint mixing. Okay. I will look up that. Um, one touch Yeah, on switch. the website, it did say uh, it wouldn't rust. I take that for a grain of salt. <laughs> right? Mm. I mean, not that I don't have faith, but... Yeah. Uh, I mean, they could also just be the assumption where they're thinking like, everyone's going to use this is using lacquer paints and not fucking acrylics, which would be a terrible, terrible guess assumption to make. Well, so I got to give them credit. Like they, their packaging is really good. Uh, 
And if I remember right, what is it like 20 bucks? Uh, like 30 bucks, something like that. It's, it's cheaper than the Vortex ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Vortex ones are definitely nice though. Yeah. Which is why I'm curious how this is, because the, the Vortex ones are really good. They're expensive, but it's because they're 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 lab grade. Yeah. So you can do either batteries. Uh, it takes two, I think, triple A's, or you can do USB. Um, I think I ended up seeing that, that the USB is stronger. So I just yeah, to... it, it is. The USB spins um a little more faster, more Wait. rotations per second. I believe the advertisement said, but it did say that you can't if you're going to use the USB. You can't have the batteries in there. Yeah, which is, I mean, just in general. So, so I'm just testing there. So it has. Okay, so the little blue light's coming on. Wait, is that supposed to be a magnetic spinner? So you put the you put that fucking metal shit into the paint. Yes. Okay, that's actually that's that's beyond stupid. Okay, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> See, that. Now you know why I was questioning it. Now, uh, what from what I've seen, I'm not saying that doesn't work. I'm just saying, holy shit! Like even if that doesn't rust, that is a gigantic waste of paint. <laughs> Curious. You get the fish all those metal metal rods out. Right. That's some stupid shit. Yeah. That's some stupid ass shit. <laughs> Yeah, me, on, me and uh, Liam were, were talking about it, and I was looking at the ad, and he was wondering, can you leave the uh, little rods in the paint? Well, and, and that's... just mix it when, you're, when you need it. That's where I'm going to be testing. Um, I wouldn't do that because, actually, especially... If it, you might get away with lacquers, but... The acrylics, man, like, that shit's going to eventually get through. Okay. And even lacquers, I wouldn't do it because like, like, lacquers are highly corrosive. And watch, some idiots can be stupid enough to try to clean that shit with like alcohol. And they're gonna learn the hard way that alcohol loves eat me eat metallics, eat metals alive. It's only gonna be a very sad bitch. So that was kind of curious, like... Yeah, I'll just I'll just spend 70 for an actual proper Vortex mixer. Yeah, yeah. So... I mean, you can even get, like, those really shitty Vortex mixers for, like, 35, 40, but... Might as well get a lab grade one at, like, 70. Um... So I did this, and... Like... It's not super bad, like, it's, it's touch-sensitive. But for some reason, every time I do this... It causes my my light bar over my monitor to dim a little bit. And it actually locked up. It started running and then it actually locked up. I had to smack it to get it running again. Uh, I'm not going to stick that in paint right now. I'm, we're going to we're gonna try and kill myself tomorrow. I'm going to stick that bar into the death mix. Because I can see. <laughs> On the website uh, where they were selling it, I can't, I can't remember uh, what uh, company was selling it, whether it was a new type or galactic or whatever, but um, they had a video showing. Um, well, it makes the, it. Uh, it makes it alcohol. alcohol. Yeah, they had a video showing the rotations per second. Um, with the USB versus the battery, uh, they dropped the uh, little bar in a little glass of uh, water. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. That doesn't look like it's spinning fast enough to move like thicker paints, like acrylics. Like that's not gonna, that's not, that's not moving fast enough. Yeah. So, and and when I do the review, I'm definitely gonna test that. Like if it's pre thin, like the SMS paints, it'll be fine. Um. my like that magnet that's in there is pretty damn strong that's grabbing that bar uh my 
my thing is if you look in here like look how frothy that that is there it's so oxygenated there's so many bubbles in there and i realize this is alcohol this is not paint but it's still going to have the same effect so that's like i mean that's gonna happen with any mixer though you you literally cannot get away with that with, with any mixer any, especially the faster it spins any any air inside the container is just going to be mixed in as well yeah so i mean well i guess just yeah i don't think it's strong it. enough though for like acrylics though or thicker thicker paints like i'm not sure i'm not sure if you've seen the the vortex ones yeah 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 uh the little one that you Those stick the bottle on and... will literally fling the bottle like across your room and shatter it if you're not careful if, if you if you don't push it down firmly you're talking about the oh. one with the little dip that you like stick the bottle yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just that shit will fling it across the room. But also, like when they mix the paint, it, it's really aggressive. Which is which is good. I I was actually looking at those, and I I may pick one up, um, just to to try. I was like, you know, for the price and. I like most of their products. It seems really good. The, my my only question, and of course you know me, it, when I go to do the uh, unboxing and actual review on this, if it does that same stuff um, of the motor locking up or not working, I'm going to make that known. Like I'm not gonna, I don't sugarcoat that crap. Um, I'd like to see how it handles a bottle that's been sitting for a while. When yeah. You drop the. Uh little bar in there yeah i'm gonna probably you'll probably have to drop a at least a drop or two of thinner yeah i got Dave. yes sir try using a usb wall adapter too and see if that changes anything so uh that's actually what i'm using and it's plugged into the the power uh the power bar that uh, this light over here is uh, it's a triple it's like what I plug my phone and everything into so it, it was actually acting like it was doing a draw on the thing but uh, so I have this bar that I'm going to fish out of there which I mean the easy part again that I see getting the the bar out of whatever you're doing is going to be just using a magnet and drawing it up and out that part's fairly as easy Right, come on, come on. Yeah, that part's pretty easy to get it out. You just use a magnet to pull it out. Um, but yeah, that can really create a hot mess. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take one of these and do a small container with some lacquer thinner and then another one of water and just see if there's any reaction uh, reaction to it. So. So we will we will see. Um, so yeah. So there's that review coming on that. Um. Uh, Christian says, "Okay, DMU on Discord. Cool. Uh, mix with Kool Aid next." Uh, <laughs> Christian, yeah, uh, yeah, no, it looked like it was moving the bottle. So, uh, keep in mind, uh, Chris, there's a little rubber part that goes on the base to keep your you keep your stuff from moving around. I just hadn't put that on there, and God, my hair is really bothering me. Um, so I hadn't put the rubber feet on the bottom or the top yet. That's for the video. I was just kind of giving you guys a sneak peek. Uh, Zaku Zero, uh, that's what I love about my Vortex Mixer. Feels like it's going to shake your arm off. Um, and this is why y'all jerky jerk to the, get the paint mixed bear. Yes, yes, that's, that's why we freaking shake the fucking shit out of it to try and get it mixed. And most you know, of- it's just like spray cans, you know? They tell you to shake that shit for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, I wonder Not how the- they want to be nice it. to the bottle. <laughs> I wonder how the Vortex thing, uh, works with, um, like spray can- spray cans. Versus shaking some people, spray I've, I've heard some people trying using it for that. So. I haven't heard, I haven't heard about whether it's like particularly noticeable, whether it's like gives really good results or it just doesn't 
matter much. So uh, with with your knowledge on that, would it be because I've seen some on Amazon, some are like thirty, forty dollars, and then there's some that are like a hundred dollars. Uh, does it really matter? Uh, probably doesn't. The low end doesn't really matter for most people, but the expensive, the uh, the more pricier ones are pricier because they're lab grade. So they they're pretty much guaranteed to last. Well, they'll last and they're much stronger, like considerably stronger. Okay. Um, I've had some. I've I've been some people been saying it's as much as like three or four times stronger, depending on which one you're buying. Now that's the thing is you don't really need an insanely strong mixer for paints, especially if they're thinned. Right. But if you're actually trying to revive paint, like especially like older batches, like you want something pretty aggressive. So. So we have Intel Labs, Vortex. Uh, it's only got 320 reviews. There's a mini Vortex. It's 104. Holy shit, there's the scientific laboratory mixer that you yep. can adjust the speed. That one's 125, though you save $13 with a coupon. That one just looks ridiculous. Um, Mini Labs, Lab Genius. So this one looks like the one that everybody uses on YouTube. Like the gray one. It, uh, Probably not gonna focus. Looks like, damn it. Looks like that. Um, that one they're saying 113. Yeah, in general, going cheap ain't good. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Because think about it, the people that are actually trying to mix paint, they're they're usually trying to f they're trying to revive bottles. <laughs> yeah. There's a and light shaking doesn't revive bottles. There's a mini vortex mixer, 5200 RPMs for uh, paints, tattoo ink, gel polish. Uh, there's one that they're showing for salon. That's 4000 RPMs. But the mini vortex is $68. Why does it have like 10 mini suction cup things on the bottom of it? Just in the center. That makes no sense. Um, we'll check that one out. And that one only has 125 reviews. So that's probably a no. That's a no for me, dog. Uh, experiment. Wait, what are we doing? Experimenting? Do a science experiment. Drop the fucking bar uh -huh. and some water and leave it there for like 30 days. See what happens. Well, that's what I was just saying is I was going to stick... Boy, if I really want to test it, I could stick one in some purple power and leave that one there because purple power eat the shit out of it if it's just a coating on there that they're saying... Also, um, do it, also do it in, in lacquer thinner too. Yeah, I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna take a little container and put some uh, uh, yeah. Mr. Color thinner in there. Don't use industrial though, because industrial can give you a wrong. Yeah, no, wrong I. Feel, cause industrial can eat through anything. Yeah, uh, I have some um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Color thinner sitting up on the shelf. I'll just stick it in there. Uh, in the name of science. In the name of science, yes. Um, boy, these industrial ones only have like. Six reviews, ten reviews. This is one of the mini lab mixer was, but it also has a power like you can crank up the power. That one's seventy-seven. That one's not bad. One hundred twenty-two reviews. Let's see here. Uh. Oh wait, it's only mix up to fifty milliliters, three thousand RPMs. Um, no. Mm -hmm. It only has three and nine. Do not, I repeat, do not get the shakers. Like they make hobby shakers for lacquer bottles. Do not, for the love of all that's holy. 
because that that will just go horribly wrong if that little strap comes loose. But that's content for your channel, Dave. No. Paint, paint all your statues and your figures in a yeah. shriek of color. I would just... I'd give up. I'd just box up and probably shut down the channel and everything. Like, I'd, I'd literally cry if that ended up happening. I, I hope I'm smarter than that. <clears throat> um, do, 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 do. So this one's got these uh, four hundred people on here. Telelab, Vortex, Mixer, but how many? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter how many RPMs. Well, hey, that's a good indication when you're looking at it and it's offering the Army Painter metal mixing balls. Um, 2,800 RPM. microplates okay let's see the reviews uh, and I read the reviews people said they wish they went more expensive one there was enough reviews to convince me to go with the 100 plus one okay that's good to know Zaku So there's a couple of pictures of people using the using model masters and stuff like that for mixing paints. Uh, underpowered mixer, okay. When it works, off installs. Okay, that's enough for me. Move on. <laughs> that was the first review. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, the Lab Genius one, that's the one that I see everybody here on YouTube freaking quoting and uh, some places sell it for astronomical paint. Uh, fixed speed. Uh, full containers, 50 milliliter can be activated, activated mixing within five seconds. Unit operates at a fixed 3000 RPM with an orbital diameter of 5.5 millimeter. A uh, small footprint of four inch. Uh, let's see. Power supply. Wait. The unit operates at a fixed speed of 3,000 RPMs, but you scroll down a little bit. Speed range, 4,500 RPM. Oh, that's for the other one. They have a different one, too, that's square. The comparison square. section. Uh, well, they make some that are square and squatter, and, but they're cheaper. But they have a higher RPM. That's weird. Uh, full speed, unloaded, 53 decibels, 2 pounds. 2 silicone caps, 1 low voltage, double insulated power adapter, ABS, chemicals, low profile, da 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 da. Alright, let's get down to the review parts. Um, okay, well that's not good that someone's top of theirs came off. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Djibouti! Oh, hey, you came back. Yeah, sorry, a friend of mine called me that I haven't talked to in years. So oh, no, I was that's... Like, Ooh. Aww, that's fine. Bonding. Uh, let's see here. Brian says, and Citadel bottles uh, with great success. So bought this to make hobby. Acrylic paints, shaking bottles vertically, creates air bubbles that can cause paint to shoot up through the opening after removing the cap. It also does a real number on your arms. Vortex mixer swirls instead of shakes and can reconstitute even the most stubborn separated acrylics. I will no longer develop tennis elbow from furiously shaking tiny paint bottles. Okay. Uh, next one, wish I got this years ago. Next one, that's one star durability blows. Use this mixer for two ounce tattoo ink bottles purchased on August 8, 2018. Was working well, ordered one for a friend. 
friend got his mixer and mine took a crap. It was past the return deadline. Da, 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 da. Paid over 300 for the item. That was your fault. Cheap parts. Once two stars. When I started doing permanent makeup about eight months ago, bought this mixing tattoo and the whole top came off. But these are all like 2018. User error. It kind of <laughs> looks that way, but let's find most recent, not oldest. Uh, so far, love. Da, 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 da. Great for Lash Girl. Okay, don't know what that is. Shake it. Works well. A little overpriced. Yeah, it says something about Lash Girl. Do you know what Lash Girl is? It'll, yes, it'll curl your lashes. Oh, okay. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, let's see. February 2021. Malfunctioning after two months. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe a fluke. Replace the product when contact. Okay, okay. Yeah, maybe I'll, I mean, I'll do some research. I'll do some research and see what I can find that, because I definitely want it to be durable. Man, I'm almost thinking I should just buy the fucking 4E's Vortex Multi, like the big ass fucker. It's literally almost the same price. Uh... Maximum speed, 30,000 RPMs? Okay. <laughs> it has a safety on off switch. Better or, be at 30,000. Right? <laughs> imagine, you put, imagine you put fucking sandpaper on that shit. <laughs> oh god. Uh, gel polish acrylics, test tubes, centrifuges, Four rubber vacuum suction feet help grasp the surface. I would hope so. Um, wait, why would I want one with an LED? What the hell? Oh. You know, LEDs make everything more expensive. No, so <laughs> it has an LED like um, uh, readout on the front. So you can set a timer and or you can actually see what speed you have it set at. Um, platform pad. You can get different size in, uh, like test tube inserts for it. Huh. Save an extra thirteen dollars. Yes, please. Add to cart. Yes, please. Just so I don't forget it, and then I'll read the I'll read the reviews. Um. But yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. It has been a blast. Uh, I will definitely see you tomorrow. Now wifey's like, put me to sleep. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. They say you can use. They say you can use a wood sander. Yeah, you could. Uh, just posted a bit of the vortex I use on Discord. If you want to take a look, I will. Oh, the uh, that you use. Yeah, I will do that. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in. I do appreciate each and every one of you. It has been awesome. Um, I hope you guys liked my intro. Uh, I don't have a new outro. Uh, I guess I could set it to the same one, but um, I am working on an outro. And uh, hopefully you guys uh, like it. It's not as busy. John said that the other one was too busy, uh, which I kind of agreed. It was cleaner, but it was busy. And uh, so this one's a little bit better. I will see you guys all tomorrow, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, Senpai Hobby, out. Peace. Adios. Bye.